it started out as a project at the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory. Um, so um, those people from U.S. government agencies uh, wanting to be able to uh, use the internet without having their connections traced. Um, and part of uh, the early recognition was that if it's just the Navy using Tor, it's not going to be very anonymous. Uh, so it needed to be a public anonymity network so that uh, you couldn't identify just based on the tool a small anonymity set of those likely to be using it. Um, and uh, it was, you, you should be able to use the internet without uh, connecting your identity uh, to your activity. Uh, and since then it's developed into uh, a, a public, publicly available and distributed uh, tool used by sort of ordinary web browsers, by activists who are trying to uh, post or read material that their governments uh, may not want them to see. Uh, it's become a, a, a piece of internet freedom efforts with support of the U.S. State Department. Um, it's used by victims of domestic violence who don't want to be tracked as, uh, as they use the web. And really a whole, whole range of people, investigative journalists, uh, competitive intelligence, law enforcement, um, all uh, finding that the combination of strong encryption and anonymity is um, enhances their, their internet use. Tor uh, takes communications, encapsulates them in uh, multiple layers of encryption, uh, like the layers of an onion, uh, and then sends them through uh, a series of hops through uh, Tor nodes where uh, they're unwrapped and rewrapped. Uh, I refer to this as onion routing because of the, the layering of uh, the encryption uh, so that um, by the time it comes out the exit uh, node, uh, neither any of the nodes in the network uh, nor the, the exit point can determine both who you are and what you're looking for. Of course, the exit node knows what you're looking for, but not uh, who you are uh, or how you got there.